good morning children now let us see how, what is the working of typing keyboard no it has three horizontal buttons they are options about and help and can display the corresponding dialogs then it has three vertical buttons they are lesson statistics and lesson editor three vertical buttons are on the left corner and three horizontal buttons are on the right corner then text panel so text panel is the area where the text to be typed is displayed so what text is to be typed will be displayed in the text panel then lesson control panel includes several controls to pause resume the current lesson enable or disable sounds and adjust the sound volume then keyboard in the virtual keyboard that will help you to learn touch typing with all 10 fingers you can customize its experience in the lesson section then let us see how to begin it to start typing your first lesson in typing tutor select the keyboard layout level and lesson category on the task bar so what you have to type that you have to select from the task bar then there are four drop down lists in the top left corner of the screen therefore moving from left to right the procedure will be as follows choose the layout that is the language of the keyboard then it is en in the picture above like that is en one introduction like that so it is en then select the level there are three levels available they are introduction beginner it's beginners in the picture then specify lesson category that is depending on the level chosen the available category may be there then finally choose the lesson that you would like to study when everything is read ready press any key then put your fingers in the initial position shown on the keyboard and start typing the text and there is a, also the lesson control panel just above the keyboard where you can suspend resume the current lesson or adjust the sound effect so above the keyboard you, you can see put your fingers in the base position or start pressing any key and sound of control panel then to start resuming a lesson click the play button just above the top left corner of the keyboard and to pause a lesson click the pause button that is displayed instead of the play button then to restart the current lesson click the refresh button which is the far right button on the task bar then to enable or disable sounds in the current lesson click the button located above the top right corner of the keyboard and set the sounds volume using the vertical slider you can also set the background image of the text panel by choosing an option that is animation wallpaper or plain 
from the drop down list on the taskbar in top right corner of the window. While making your way through the lesson, you will probably mention two progress bars, one in green and another in yellow on the lesson control panel. So the green progress bar shows the percentage of completion for the current lesson and the yellow progress bar reflects the acceptable time period for typing a single character that how much time you took to type a character. So when the yellow progress bar runs out at least once, typing tutor records that you have broken the rhyme at this character, broken the rhythm at this character. So how to interpret your results, that is how to read the results. So your results after typing will be shown like this. And how to read this result. So each time you complete a lesson, the results dialog window displays your achievements in this lesson. So the results dialog window consists of two tabs called rating and error. It will have two tabs rating and errors. The first one looks like that the rating tab looks like this this and you can review your metrics that is overall skill level between beginner and champion as well as words per minute characters per minute and accuracy in a in person three remaining sliders below in the text area you can check your mistakes that occurred during the lesson the color indication is as follows green letters denote right inputs and yellow letters stands for right inputs exceeding the acceptable time frame that you have typed after a given time then red letters denote wrong inputs within the acceptable time frame. Then orange letters indicate wrong inputs that also exceed the acceptable time frame. So it's the worst result. So green means you have typed it correctly. Yellow means you have typed it correctly but you have took extra time then red you have typed it wrong then orange you have typed it wrong also you have taken extra time also so you can see three different four different colors are used then there is an error window on the error tab you can view your detailed statistics for the current lesson this tab shows your errors and delays percentage both in graphical and table view. This will help you to better understand which letters are still hard for you to type. So you can switch between the errors in the person chart and delay in person chart. On the bar chart, the x-axis corresponds to the letters used in the lesson while the y-axis shows the errors or delays related to each letter. If there aren't any errors and delays for a certain character, it won't show up the, upon the chart. Okay, thank you children.